Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related. So in today's video I have a beauty video for you guys. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys this new brand that I just stumbled upon um, called Merit Beauty. And they sent me some makeup and to try out and to share with you guys so I thought I would make a video about it and just kind of share you guys um, or share with you guys some of the beauty items that I received from this brand and also kind of um, It's actually what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing their products today So I guess this is kind of like a one brand tutorial I guess you can call it so so yeah So if you're interested in seeing what I have to say about this brand new company that I just recently Come across then um, yeah, just keep watching. All right, so um, the brand is called Merit Beauty and they I think they're sold at sephora.com and other um, stores and I want to say I've heard of it before but never really kind of you know went more into detail about the brand but um, from what I do know they are a clean beauty brand which I do love because I love um, if you've been following me then you know I love clean beauty as far as skincare so it's nice to come upon um, some clean makeup pro uh, brands so um, yeah so I have a few items they um, sent me a few items for me to try, you know, try out and test out. And the packaging, it came in this little box here. I'm trying to like not show you guys my address. Okay, so it's at, my address is at the bottom. So um, this is the box that it came in. And it has, um, here has less is more, which I absolutely agree when it comes to at least makeup anyway. Because I'm very much so minimalistic when it comes to my makeup i used to be really into like caking on all the makeup but the older i get the more i realize all that does is, is accentuate my wrinkles because <laughs> i am older i'm 40 so i'm trying to not really wear a whole lot of makeup because it just makes you look older when you pack on the makeup and you have wrinkles and you know so um i'm very much so into minimalistic makeup so um and it came in like this little pouch like this cute little like yellowish kind of burnt what is it yellowish kind of mustard yellow kind of a little pouch a little bag so it just all the products came in here so it's a cute little bag i can actually reuse so i really like that um because most brands they don't send their products in any kind of little bag so i thought that was really cute but just very minimalistic packaging um which i love i love packaging and their packaging is really nice and minimalistic. All right, so I'm gonna just show you guys the products um, in order of me putting them on or how I would I apply them um, when it comes to my makeup routine. So um, the first item I wanna share with you guys, cause I did use this product um, first and it is the foundation or, they don't really call it a foundation. Let me see, this is, let me find the box. So this is the box that the, that the products come in. Just very minimalistic box and it has the description on it. So it says minimalistic beauty and it's not a foundation or concealer, it's both. Use it only where you need it so you can so you get compliments on your skin, not your makeup, which I love that. I, I really love that where you get compliments on your skin and not your makeup. Because I don't I I like to wear makeup and I don't but I don't like to look like I have on makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like I like so when someone looks at me to say your, your skin's pretty and not realizing that it's makeup so I really like that um, so it's clean vegan cruelty free and so yeah so this is their like I said the minimalistic um, perfect perfecting complexion stick and I got mine in the shade khaki so the shades um, it shows you the shades here on the packaging I don't know if you can see that hopefully it'll focus so you guys can see that yeah so there we go so you guys can see the packaging but yeah so I really like that and this is the actual packaging of the product just very again minimalistic which I do love and it is like a foundation stick which I don't typically use foundation I don't think I've ever had a foundation stick so this is new for me you know so i really like it this actually this um shade is actually a little too light for me but you know i made it work because i really as you'll see from I'll, i think i put a video a clip of me applying these products so you'll see that it's a little bit bright on me which is fine because i usually when i wear any kind of um concealer i typically just put it around my eyes because i have really bad dark circles just from lack of sleep working at night working night shift 
you know just lack of sleep in general so i have very dark eye you know eye circles so i just applied like around my eyes and then i actually kind of applied it to some little spots but because it's so light i can't i can't really apply it to dark spots because it doesn't really for me at least because my spots are so dark it doesn't conceal my dark spots but you know i tried as you can see to try to conceal some of the dark spots but after after i apply all my makeup you really can't see the dark spots which it's fine that they, if they do kind of show through because again i like i said i don't want to look like i have on makeup and you know we want flawless skin but we also want to see skin when when it comes to minimalistic makeup so i really like it i think i'm going to see if i can order a shade up because this shade is too light for me right now but i do feel like in the um, upcoming months and like the winter time this definitely will be um a shade that's on point for me because i tend to get a little bit lighter in the fall and winter time or at least especially in the winter time i'm just like pasty white so i feel like this will be perfect shade for me once my tan has kind of faded so but it's for but as far as now i think i'm going to order a shade up because i feel like that's probably would be the best shade for me um i'm not sure how many shades it comes in i will try to you know put it on the screen and t you know so you guys don't know how many shades it comes in and i just kind of guessed um, I typically like have a yellow undertone and I can't remember if on the side if it told if it said that it's had this one had a yellow undertone but like I said it's a little too light for me right now but I'm sure in the winter you know upcoming winter months it'll be just the perfect shade for me so so yeah so I got that product and like I said I have never used a stick foundation um, and that's that's really advertised as a stick foundation or a foundation and a concealer so yeah, and it's very lightweight, so it's not cakey, which I love. And because I put it under my eyes, I don't need it to be cakey. It's very hydrating, too. Like, it's not drying. And I used, um, speaking of that, I used another, or a, I used their brush to apply it. And so it is the, the brush number one, and it's a blending brush. And so this is what the brush looks like. Just a very small brush. You can definitely use this to, you know, for foundation or for concealer or for that um, foundation stick. So I just use it, just kind of dabbed it. The bristles are very, very soft. They're not stiff at all. And yeah, it blended it in no time. Like it's super blendable. Um, I tried, I've used this, I've tried this product several different ways as far as application. And I think I like the way um, it, it came out with the brush. Like I tried it just dabbing it with my fingers and I just didn't like it it seemed like it was too greasy or something I don't know but once I blended it with the brush I like that application a whole lot better because it just seamlessly blended it in so as the name suggests the blending brush so because I was going to use this to apply the my um blush because I did get some blushes but I decided to use this blending brush and it blends out the foundation just fine I mean these two products together or using these two together definitely definitely would recommend so um but yeah just a cute little small little brush you can you know take that traveling with you if you you know if you're you know into minimalistic makeup and you don't like to carry a lot of um, items with you as far as makeup products and your tools that you use that tool that brush is a good tool um, to take with you you would only need that of course you have to take something to clean it off in, in between products but it's really a good blending brush because like I said it blended out flawlessly and I like the fact that it's I mean it's a little I don't know it's a little bit oily a little bit but I don't I want something hydrating I guess that's really the word hydrating not really oily um, because you know under your eyes your eyes um, get really dry or at least that's where your driest part is, is under your eyes so I wanted to make sure um, that I get a product that is, you know, hydrating. So again, so that it doesn't accentuate my um, fine lines under my eyes, because I do have fine lines under my eyes. So I try to avoid putting foundation or any kind of concealer in like this part of my eye, but sometimes you just can't help it. But I, I like the application. I like the way it looks. I mean, of course, it's gonna crease because I do have, uh, you know, wrinkles or creases under my eyes. So it's gonna crease, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look terrible okay it doesn't make me look like i'm t like i'm old like it doesn't age me i feel like so um and i just set the um the foundation slash concealer with my powder my laura mercier honey powder 
Um, I love this translucent powder. It's the translucent honey is what I use. I have the regular translucent and the translucent honey. So I did just kind of put a little bit of under my eyes and just other places, like I said, that I apply the foundation. So just to set it, um, just because I just wanted it to stay in place all day. All right, so that's that product. And then the next thing I did is I applied my bronzer because, like I said, that is a little too light for me. So I need to kind of add some dimension and some color to my face. So I did add just some powder bronzer. Um, I used this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's my favorite one in the mahogany color shade. So I applied that. And then after that, I applied my blush. So I got two blushes from Merit Beauty. Um, one of them is in the shade Beverly Hills and that's actually the one that I put on and then the other one is in the shade terracotta so I'm gonna open those up for you guys and show you them I don't I've never used I don't believe a cream blush I don't think I've ever used any cream blushes a lot of these products are like first time use products as far as the product okay um, so cream blushes is definitely are definitely things I've never products I've never used I usually use the powder bl uh, blush so this is what the packaging looks like here and again simple simple products simple packaging and you can see the two differences in the shades when you look at them up close they don't look they look the same but on camera they look different so this one the, ter the terracotta one here so it's more like an orangey kind of I guess terracotta shade and this one is called Beverly Hills so it's like a pinky kind of kind of pinky kind of burgundy kind of color I don't know how to really explain that let me take the tops off of them so you can see them a little bit better and I, I decided to go with the pink one just because it matches my bronzer a little bit more so that's what they look like um, up close and so this is the one I have on as you can see I don't know if you can see it but it it's very subtle and let me just say that um, at least on my skin tone so if you're lighter than me it may show up a little bit better but I feel like on darker skin complexions it's yeah it's, it's very subtle it's a very very subtle flush which is fine because like I said we're going for that minimalistic um, kind of makeup look but what I did is after I applied the cream blush I just set it with my regular blush this is from mac and it's very old it's called the raisin it's called raisin and it's the powder blush so i just set my the the blush or the cream blush with the powder just to set it just so it will stay and it won't be like you know all over the place and running all over the all over my face so um but i love these two blushes they like i said it's just very subtle which again we're going for a minimalistic makeup look so we want something that's not not too in your face something very you know minimalistic and very simple so i really like these um i think i'm gonna try to go online and see if i can find more you know just to try them out but like i said if you're into blush or you want to try out blush but you don't want to look like you know how blush can you can you know how you wear blush and you can obviously see that someone has on blush like i don't like that look but if you want to have blush just to kind of give you just just a little bit of color just a little bit of color but it kind of actually blends in with my bronzer a little bit so yeah it's just a very subtle kind of flush um all right so that's with the blushes and then um after i used the blush i applied this product which is the highlighter let me find the packaging this is the day glow highlighting balm so this is a cream and this is what it looks like the packaging looks like it's white so very pretty very uh, minimalistic here and i just applied a little bit of this a little bit of this and it's very subtle as you can tell from me trying it on in the um, clip but it's a very subtle highlight and i actually have kind of gotten away from wearing highlight i don't really wear it wear highlight as much now um so i just wanted to try out because i kind of want to get back into highlight but for me um i have a natural highlight because i'm i have oily skin so i naturally look highlighted you know anyway because my skin is so oily um but because we're coming up on the fall and winter season my t my skin tends to change to dry i don't know so i thought this would be nice to use in the winter months and the colder months once my you know skin gets a little dry to kind of give me a little bit of glow 
and as you can see it is a lot of glow actually a lot of bit of a lot of bit of glow and but you know let me put it on my actual hand here so you can see there's the highlight and this is actually kind of probably like a I don't know like a white kind of sheen it's not like it's more how do I how do I say this it's not like a it's I don't know what kind of sheen this is it's not like a golden t kind of a highlight it's more like a I don't know like a white kind of highlight if that makes sense at least on my skin tone it looks a little bit more white so it's gonna obviously show up more but but it just kind of gives me kind of like that natural glow I feel like I'm um, not kind of like that glow from within which is basically I think is what it tells you on the packaging layer on la layer on last over cheek and brow bones or as a prep step on bare skin for an all over glow so yeah I, I like that and what I did because I didn't because I need you know you have to set your cream products or else they're just gonna move around on your face so what I did to set the cream product is I just used this um, powder uh, highlighter by Becca and this is in the um, this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector um, in the shade champagne pop I think this was Jaclyn Hill I don't know if you all remember her she's like an OG youtuber this was her collaboration that she did with Becca uh, several years ago like I said I still have it so I just used this to kind of set that highlighter because this is kind of has like a peachy kind of effect to it so it's a little obviously a little bit lighter or a little bit more peachy um or warm undertone to it than the um the than the cream so that just kind of gives it a little bit gives me a little bit more of a peachy kind of um highlight so it's not so stark white so i needed to kind of add that to the highlight so that it's not just like stark white and doesn't like i just have like white patches like a white patch on my face i don't know i just thought that would look cute um so that is the bomb and i do like the highlighter highlighter balm so i'm going to continue to use it and try to work with it and see how i like it all right and then the next thing i used is the mascara and this is what the mascara looks like and i'm not really that i mean i love mascaras but as you guys know I, if you've been watching me you know i love my falsies so it doesn't matter what what kind of mascara i use i'm, I'm gonna put on some falsies if i'm gonna put on makeup just because my lashes are very sparse and they're not like you know nice and big and wispy which I love wispy lashes so I use mascara to really just kind of put on before I put my lashes on just to kind of give my lashes something to hold on to um, but what I will say about this mascara though is that I feel like if you have nice full lashes I think this will be a good mascara for you this is what the one looks like and yeah it, it it did a little something something for my lashes as you can see but as far as like give me that wispy just like you know beautiful just wispy lash that i love yeah I, I don't achieve that with mascara so i have to do falsies so but as you can see from the clip i did apply it and share with you guys how it looks just on my you know very sparse lashes and so it's it's enough i feel like it's just it's good enough just to give me just a little bit of lift and to you know to my lashes and you know just to kind of give me a little something something but i'll always put on my falsies but if I don't feel like putting on my falsies and just want to go out of the house with just the mascara, then yeah, I feel like this will be this was a be this would be a good one to to kind of put on, um, just for those days where I just definitely just want to just be minimalistic and just barely there kind of lash. And so, but like I said, if you have nice wispy lashes, then I feel like this will be a good one for you to try out. So, and I love the packaging. The packaging is really nice and sleek. And just very elegant so so yeah so that is the mascara uh, let me see let me read the um, packaging for the mascara and it's called the clean lash lengthening mascara so yeah it says comb through lashes doing a little wiggle at the base to add thickness at your lash line so yeah so just a nice mascara that I'm trying out and um, like I said if you have some nice full lashes I think this will coat them just fine um, all right, and then the last product that I want to share with you guys is the um, Shade Slick Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil, and they actually have come out with some new shades for the um, fall season. And I got the shade Taupe. I think it's what it is. Yeah, I got the shade Taupe. Let me make sure that's what this is. Yeah, I got the shade Taupe, 
and it is a, a wash of sheer color rich with rose hip and grapeseed oils for healthy never sticky lips now I have pigmented lips because I have the lip oil on now and I have pigmented lips so and this this particular color is actually the same color as my my natural lip color so to me this is like a clear lip gloss for me but as the box says it's not sticky it's definitely like a lip oil it's like putting like I know this sounds crazy and some of you that know know but it's almost like putting Vaseline on your lips but not but not really if that makes sense um, but it's really pretty packaging as you can see from here and like I said I got the shade taupe and it's just very hydrating to your lips like I feel like this is something that will last you all day I mean obviously if you're like eating or something you're gonna have to reapply but it's just very comfortable like it's not sticky like some lip glosses are very sticky and just yeah I don't like that or or when you put it on it's like I don't know it like sticks to each other and like leaves that little the little globs of stuff I don't know how to explain it but this one definitely does not it's very very comfortable to wear and I just feel like it's just a good color it's just a good lip gloss to to you know wear for like those natural days where you know you don't want to wear lipstick you know you just want something minimal you know something that is like your lips but better I guess um, it does give like a little bit of wash of color just like a little subtle bit but my lips are super pigmented so it's probably hard for you to tell but it just gives my lips a little something extra and let me see if I can kind of swatch the color so you can kind of see how it looks I don't know if you can see that so that's kind of like how it looks um, not on my lips because my hand is um, lighter I feel like my hand is lighter than my lips so that's kind of how it looks on me so if you don't have super pigmented lips it may the color may show up on you but if you're like me you have you know pigmented lips then I feel like it'll just be like just your lips fit better which when you're into like minimalistic makeup that's kind of what you want anyway right so like I said they um, just launched four new shades of the lip balm so or what do we call it what is it called the shade slick it's called the shade slick tinted lip lip oil not lip balm it's a lip oil so which is really good so um I feel like let's read let me read the description so it says to use um, slick on whenever you look whenever your look needs a pick-me-up no mirror needed <laughs> so yeah I feel like it's a good lip oil to you know give your lips some hydration especially with the winter time coming up and like I said we tend to, our skin tends to get a little bit drier in the winter months and the you know cooler drier months so I feel like this will be a good lip balm to kind of carry around with you in your purse you know or, or whatever you know to kind of keep your lips really nice and hydrated so so that's it those are all the products that I got from Merit Beauty and I must say that first impressions I am very 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 pleased with this brand I think I'm gonna go on the site and see if I can get some more shades of the lip oil as well as the cream blushes and I'm gonna see if they have any more of the highlighters because I feel like that highlighter is more so for like lighter skin complexions than it is for darker skin complexions so I'm gonna see I'm just gonna go back on the site and see what I can see so um, yeah um, so if you guys want to try out these products I will put my link down below for you guys to go on the site and try some of either these products that I showed you guys or just you know browse the site and see if there's anything on the site that you perhaps want to try out because I do I do stand by clean beauty brands that are cruelty free and yeah that's that's just I mean if you're gonna put something on your body it, it might as well be something that you know is cruelty free and clean products because yeah we don't want to just put anything on our skin right especially when it comes to makeup so yeah so I, like I said I will leave the link down below if you guys are interested in any of these products or just want to check out the brand in general like I said they are available I think in Sephora and other stores you know in the in uh, you know in the US I believe just the US um, but I will link leave my link down below so yes yeah, so you guys let me know how you think what you think about this brand if you've ever used the brand what you think about the products yeah just kind of like what you guys think about this taupe this brand too because i think i like it i think i like it um if there was one product that i really not into as much i guess i don't know it's hard to, it's really hard to say because they they are first impressions are really nice i'm gonna have to obviously keep using them to really 
get like a feel for them but first initial thoughts initial impressions initial use i do like them i think the highlighter is probably not my most favorite just because i'm not like a, a highlighter wearer i don't typically wear highlighters like that so i just wanted to get that to try it out um, but i feel like if i would have gotten the shade that i like i feel like i would have liked it um, but all these items are again minimalistic simple you know makeup products so if you're into that then i think you will like it you know if you're more so into like caking on all the makeup then you may not like these because they're subtle they're just as the brand suggests you know less is more and so i think that's kind of i think that's kind of where we should kind of go with when it comes to our you know our looks you know less is more you don't have to put on all these all this makeup and just cake on all the makeup and just pile on tons and tons of layers of makeup to make yourself look beautiful you know or to just you know make yourself you know presentable you know i think it's all about enhancing what you already have the the natural beauty i think it's what i think is most beautiful to me it's just natural beauty and i think as women we need to embrace our natural beauty and you know it's okay if you want to cake on the makeup and you know put piles of makeup on that's fine too but i think as women we really should you know embrace our natural beauty right so these products are awesome for that so yeah so that's it thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you guys want to see me do more you know videos like this because i don't do a lot of like beauty and makeup and you know things like that on my channel i mostly do a lot of fashion but if you guys want to see me do product reviews on makeup items then let me know down in the comments i'm interested in, in seeing what you guys want to see from me because i do enjoy doing these videos as well as much as i do like my fashion content i like to do a diverse of things on this channel and i do want to incorporate more makeup and beauty things on my channel so just let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing more videos where i do product reviews of makeup so i would love to do those videos too for you guys if you're interested so all right so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget the link to the products um to the merit beauty website will be down in the description box so don't forget to check that out and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video all right bye guys